Hey, Master Coach G here on Thriving After 50. Check out today's episode. I am talking about the benefits of a healthy gut and detoxing. Yes, great subject. Because here's why it's a great subject. Because a healthy gut plays a critical role in various aspects of our health, including our digestive system, our immune function, our metabolism, and even our mental health. Yep, our mental health is affected by our gut health Um, because you got to have that balance. So in today's episode, I am going to be talking about the benefits of detoxing along with gut health because our bodies are exposed to various toxins from environment from the environment including the air uh, pollutions pesticides heavy metals and just chemicals that we use in daily household products there's toxins in those things so detoxing plays a critical role in our digestive system nutrients uh, absorbance and the metabolism also here's one that may surprise you cardiovascular health so keeping our liver clean can help us to to allow our liver to function at its highest capacity which we need that so that will give us total body health and it also gives us vitality as well so this is master coach g and i will see you on the inside Hey fam, Master Coach G here on Thriving After 50, Mind, Body, Soul. And on today's episode, I'm talking about gut health and detoxification. I want to share why gut health is important to our overall health and well-being and the benefits of detoxing. Gut health and detoxification are two interconnected topics that have gained attention over the last few years. And I think here are some of the reasons why. Um, Just knowing how critical our gut health plays to just our overall health. Um, Gastrointestinal tract is um, what the um, medical term is. Um, but it is very important to our overall health and well-being. Our gut health is responsible for our digestive system, uh, absorbing the nutrients from our food, and eliminating waste. Our gut health is essential for proper nutrients because that helps our immune system. So you see how it all works together. It's like our gut health gets the nutrients that it needs from the food, but it also improves our immune immune function. Now, here's something that may be a surprise to you. Our gut health also affects our mental health. And I'm going to share a little bit more about that as we go along here. Um, our gut is home of trillions of bacteria and funguses and other microorganisms. Um, and these microorganisms plays a critical role in various aspects of our health, including the digestive system, like I just said earlier, the immune function, the metabolism, and our mental health. But we got to have that balance. That's how we have the the better overall health. Having good um, gut health uh, impacts our mental health. So as as I've been studying, it, research suggests that there's a strong connection between gut health and mental health. The gut and the brain communicates. I know that sounds weird, doesn't it? But it does. Uh, through the gut-brain connection, um, there's imbalances in the gut uh, that have been linked to conditions like anxiety, and depression. So during the studies, they've linked that the gut-brain connection 
can have that imbalance and that and found out that it's linked to conditions like anxiety and depression. So that's why it's important to take care of your your gut health um, because it does possibly impact your mental health. Maintaining good health, ment- gut health does involve several factors, okay? One is a balanced diet, which makes sense. We're talking about your gut, right? So consuming a diet that's rich in fruits and fiber, I think we talked about this in the immune segment, um, immune system segment, fiber, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, uh, those are the kind of things that support good health, good gut health, okay? Um, probiotics, I know that you may see uh, commercials on TV and they're talking about probiotics, um, but you can you can also get that through foods, and yes, you can get it through tablets or whatever form that it comes in, gummies or whatever they have it in, in these days, but uh, you can get it through f- your fruit. Uh, yes, yogurt, sauerkraut for those of you who like it, or even if it's just through supplements, like I said, through the gummies, or however, that's the probiotics. But then there, there are also prebiotics, um, which are di- dietary fibers uh, that is a nourishment for gut bacteria. Foods like onions and garlic, bananas and oats are, are a good source of prebiotics. Here's another one. Hydration. Drink an adequate amount of water to supply a healthy digestive system because it helps maintain regular bowel movements. It's very important. Now I want to talk about a little bit of detoxing. And what I normally do is I normally like to recommend a detox at least seven days before you start to change your your diet regimen. Um, you want to kind of detox and kind of get rid of all the old before you start on the new. And detoxification just refers to a process of eliminating toxins from your body. Um, while it does have, while our body does have its own natural detoxification system, which is our liver, um, some people may be inclined to or interested in su- being able to support that uh, that system, the the functioning of the liver, uh, the detoxification, that whole process by lifestyle choices, and one of those lifestyle choices can be detoxing. Um, and here are some general tips for supporting the body's natural detoxification process. And here's what you're going to find. You're going to find four of the key pillars to maintain this, uh, this detoxification process, the natural detoxification process, um, because I do believe in all natural. But here are four of the six pillars uh, to maintain good health. Number one is hydration. Drinking enough water helps to flush out the toxins. You do that through your urine and through your through your sweat. Um, I know that if you if you are on medication, um, you know, this is just having the side effects will let you know that there's some toxins that's somewhere that's involved. Um, I I definitely and highly recommend that for people that are on medication that they drink a little bit more water, just a little, maybe even a bottle, an extra bottle of water a day because you want to flush out the toxins that you're getting from the prescription medication that you're taking on a daily basis. Now, I'm not saying you're going to flush out all the toxins, but what I'm saying is it will be good for you to flush out those toxins because there are all kinds of heavy metals and, you know, all kinds of other substances in there that is harmful to your body. But drinking enough water and being... When your urine is clear, then you know that you pretty much flushed out the toxins. If you if it's dark yellow, then you know you still got a, a pretty good ways to go. If it starts to get pale yellow, then you know you're on your way. But you want it to be clear, and that the sweating and the urine is is what you really want to be able to do to try to get the toxins out of your body. Here's another one of the uh, six pillars: a balanced diet, consuming a diet rich in antioxidants from fruit. That's where you get the antioxidants fight the free radicals, the, the, the toxins that's in the air that we can't see. We're breathing it in right now, 
even as I speak. We're breathing, we are inhaling toxins that we cannot even see in the air. So that's why antioxidants are good. So you get that from fruit. If you don't take supplements, then fruit is a, is a good way to get your antioxidants. Um, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can support the overall health, um, which provides the nutrients. Um, that aids in detoxification because it helps your liver to function better. Okay, here's another one. One of the four uh, of the six pillars is regular exercise. Physical activity promotes uh, circulation, which helps eliminate toxins through sweat. So yes, that's why it's good to to, to sweat and have physical activity because you're getting rid of toxins that way. Here is another one, another pillar. Significant sleep, yes. Getting enough sleep allows the body to repair and regenerate the cells. I've said it a thousand times, almost in every single one of my, um, well, except for the emotional for the month of June, but all before that, I was definitely talking about sleep and, and how our body has to get this proper sleep so that it can repair and regenerate itself. And when it regenerates and repairs the cells, it helps the detoxification process. It helps support that, and that's why it's important to approach this um, in that manner. And and I always like to tell people, you know, let me walk you through the steps of of, de- of detoxification. You know, people just say, oh, I'm going to drink some tea, I'm going to do this, but there's other things that's involved with it, especially to be effective because you want all of your organs to be detoxed. You don't, not just your liver, but you want your kidneys and your pancreas and your lungs, and you want all of your organs to be to go through this detoxification process. And so that's why I would highly recommend that you uh, consult with a professional, someone like myself, um, before you make any type of significant change to your diet or lifestyle. I always like to recommend the detox before you start to change your diet. Um, And then that way we can start off with a clean slate. But yes, uh, I will be able to provide you with the advice based on your your individual needs. Um, and we will come up with a strategy, strategy according to that, not a cookie cutter, you know. Um, but here are some additional details I want to throw out there about gut health and detoxification. Um, because our bodies are exposed to various toxins through the environment, including the air pollution, like I said earlier, pesticides, you know, that that's, that's on the food, um, heavy metals and chemicals that we use every day in our house. They they have toxins in them. Like, you know, we use bleach in our, on our laundry. You know, we use laundry detergent, the fumes from that. There's toxins in that. Um, but again, like I said, our bodies that ha- does have a natural way of um, going through that process. But we also have to sometimes, and I, I usually recommend maybe like twice or maybe three times a year. Just depends on, you know, what you have going on throughout the year. But, you know... Twice a year, but definitely three times a year, maybe like every six months or every nine months, you wanted to do a diet detox, which involves like short term dietary changes, you know, like maybe fasting. So you'll say like every three months, I'm going to fast for a week and fasting doesn't have to be necessarily from it can be from a certain type of food or you want to um you know, uh, rearrange your, your, what you're eating, um, and say, you know, I'm going to eat breakfast. I'm not going to, I'm just going to eat fruit for lunch and then I'm going to do dinner. So that's a type of fasting. It's not necessarily going without food. However, it can be, but that's not what I'm talking about. Um, I know they do have the intermediate fasting. I'm, you know, I don't know much about it. I'm not a, a fan. So I, I don't really talk about stuff that I'm not familiar with and I'm not familiar with that. But when I talk about fasting, I mean, short term, I'm not talking about long term um, and, you know, just consuming only certain foods or liquids um, or using supplements and, and or herbal remedies, things of that nature. Um, but these types of diets, I always recommend greens like what I do is I like kale. I like collard greens. I like spinach. I like turnips. I like mustard greens. So what I do is I mix them all together. <laughs> you know, it's like, I call it the, the G bomb. It's like a green, 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 green. So I call it a G bomb. I think there's another gentleman that calls it G bomb too, but, um, but it's, it's great. And it really helps you, um, to a, get rid of a lot of toxins that's in your body. It does a lot of great things for you. And it also helps to promote weight loss. 
Yes, 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 absolutely. And I know that's why a lot of people go on a detox because they do want to lose weight. And I'm going to talk about some of the other benefits of detoxing. Yes, it does um, promote weight loss. Another factor here is a lifestyle change. Now, yes, you can um, detox with a certain diet, which means, you know, you're fasting, you're consuming only certain foods or only liquids or whatever. Um, but let's look at the lifestyle because if you have a lifestyle where you're like me, cause I have some watermelon sitting right here in front of me and I kind of take a bite in between. Um, but, um, you know, the lifestyle. So because I'm used to eating fruit, then that's pretty much what I do. So now it's, it's, it has become a lifestyle. Um, so instead of having extreme detox dieting, focus, focus on um, a healthy ha- habits that can support the body's natural detoxification process, okay? Um, I think that's really important to, um, to support the body's already natural system. I mean, it already has a detoxification process. What we can do to make it better is to... Um, you know, maybe the supplements or definitely the fruits and vegetables and the lean protein, those things is what makes it better. Um, eating a healthy, balanced diet, staying hydrated, getting regular exercise, managing stress, um, avoiding uh, excessive alcohol or tobacco use. You know, those are things that will help us to um, help the process of detoxification. Those are, those are things that actually help us to detoxify. So yeah, it's it's really a good thing to to be aware of that. Um here's the thing, the liver is our detox headquarters, if you will. Um the liver is the primary organ and responsible for detoxing the body. That's why it's important for us to take care of our liver. The liver the liver health is balanced through what we eat, through our diet. We have to make sure that we are mindful of the um, alcohol t- intake that we're that we're taking, and definitely, 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 um, excessive medication. Definitely, I mean, I can't stress that enough. And and I know that people are on medication. Some is excessive. I know that from experience. My mom was on excessive medication when I first moved to North Carolina, and we have eliminated a lot of that and got rid of a lot of the toxins um, out of her body. And I can tell, um, you know, I keep a close eye on that. So, yeah. But um, so yes. That's why we have to make sure that our body is, uh, our liver is up to standard. Um, but remember, it's always best to consult with a professional, with someone who can help you th- with this process. Because it's not as simple as, you know, fasting or, you know, changing your diet or detoxing. It's all, all, all three of those put together. And it's a process. And you, you go through all the steps. And you go through step one, step two, step three, in order to be able to optimize the, the uh, results that you're looking for. So let me say this. Although detoxing does promote weight loss, um, you can see that it does so much more. A full body reset. Okay, so I'm going to kind of tell you some of the things that it does. When I say a full body reset, it helps to boost your energy. It improves mental clarity. It reduces hunger and cravings. It minimizes aches and pains like arthritis, joint pains. It rebalances your hormones. It restores your sleep cycle. Um, it supports di- your digestive system, and it also improves your immune system. So let me say this real quickly, and then I'm going to close out here. We have to understand that given that the liver is the largest internal organ that we have in our body. The liver is the largest internal organ that we have in our body. But here's the thing that's fascinating about the liver is that it performs over 500 different functions within the body. I know. Amazing, isn't it? You know, I, I really wish I could like have like a, a x-ray machine and be able to look and see all the different functions, all the different things that the liver does. 
uh, over 500 different functions within the body. That's just amazing. Uh, aside from detoxification. Detoxification is just one of the 500 things that it, that it does. And that's a very critical role, especially in our digestive system and, and absorbing the nutrients that our body needs. It affects our metabolism. And don't forget, it also affects our cardiovascular health too. So keeping our liver clean and functioning at its optimal uh, capacity is what gives us total healthy and vitality. Yes, yes. So let me share real quickly the benefits of a seven-day detox real quick, and then I'm out of here, okay? Weight loss, increased energy, uh, joint pain relief, improved digestive system, boosts your immunity, reduces cravings, stabilizes your mood, clears your skin, improves your sleep, and it sharpens your mind. And that's just a few benefits of a seven-day detox, just seven days. So that's what I have for you today. I hope this episode has added value to your life. I thank you for joining me here on Thriving After 50, Mind, Body, Soul. want to give a shout out to my listeners in the United States, Canada, Belgium, the UK, Mexico, Russia, France, Brazil, Ireland, India, Bangladesh, and Australia. Hey, if this podcast has been a benefit to you, subscribe. Leave me a comment. You got a question, do that too. Uh, Follow me, share it with someone that it may help as well. I really do appreciate you. And remember, knowledge applied is power. This is Master Coach G, and I'll see you on the next level.